My most important teacher in my life has been and still is my Sifu Wing Chow. My most important teacher is my Korean martial art teacher Son San and Ko Myung. And he developed the martial art Shin San Apkido, which I'm practicing since maybe 30 years. And I'm very lucky that I am still able to train with him. What I really like about him is he's not developing only our body skills, but also our, the skills of our mind. And he is still touching the hearts of his students. He says we have to develop humanity and love of nature. I think this is the thing we really need now. And he focuses very much on respect. So I say thank you, Kamsahamnida, to my Korean teacher. The most important teachers for my life are my beautiful parents and my beautiful children who taught me the most important things in life. Uh, thank you for the love and the joy you spread. Thank you so much. My most important teachers for Qigong were the teachers where I began, where I first started Qigong. So this is uh, Chen Jumin and Alexandra Gussetti who were teaching together. And after this uh, Qigong education, I went further, I uh, took another Qigong education with my teacher Liu Qingshan. Thank you all for your precious uh, lessons, for your, for, yeah, for passing on all these treasures to us and to me. Thank you so much. So grateful. And I also want to thank each single teacher out there who took, uh, with whom I took a class, a workshop, a, a seminar. I learned from each one of you. Thank you. And last but not least, I want to thank my Qigong students. I learned so much from you, I can't even begin to describe. So each one of... I would say from the outside to the inside to stillness and from having a crush on it to falling in deep love with it. When I first saw Qigong, it was like a, a pull. It was so beautiful. It just pulled me in there. And I just really dove in into it from the first moment. And it is a pull that has been never ending. I'm still, you know, just, <laughs> it just drags me in. I hope that's the right word in English. <laughs> but it really just, it's like, I, have, I just love to dive in there. And I hope that stays and I really, think it's going to stay like that for the rest of my life. So, yeah. My path on the Tai Chi Chuan and Qigong, I can describe it like that. A spiral that goes from outside to inner depths, circling with continuous development to inside and up and spreading to the in and nourishing inside each of my parts of life and connects to the endless, infinite energy of life. So it's from moving to physical, to the inside, and metaphysical. And it can also be described as from outside movements to the inner mechanism and the um, inner alchemy which is supported by Qigong and Naigong a path that connects everything and brings unity to my life thanks you if I were to go now I would take the book with me which I'm reading right now or actually rereading, <laughs> uh, which is called uh, Der Weltensammler by Trojanov, in English, the Collect collector of worlds, uh, because every word in it is, is just like a little pearl. So I really enjoyed discovering the 
all these precious words and worlds uh, in the book. And as, my, as many of my colleagues, I would also take a blank book with me so I could write down my thoughts if I have any. <laughs> the book I would like to take with me will always be Tao Te Ching and also I Ching and of course The Secret of the Golden Flower. I think I would take a book from Pema Shudrin with me. She's an American Tibetan nun, nearly 85 years old. And her main issue is the insecurity of life. And she is talking about this insecurity and about how to gain fearlessness. And it's really amazing uh, that although she is talking about this shaky ground, how she calls it, you are gaining confidence when you read it and you are getting a deep insight in the nature of mind and the nature of life. And sometimes it's enough to read half a page of her and then you can digest it the rest of the day. Yeah, there, there is not a specific music, a song, but uh, I love the Beatles song, Let It Be. And throughout this process that the world and the humanity faces in this year, 2020, I would love to sing it. Let it be. Music, well, that's not that easy because the mood can be so different and music can be so different. On the one hand, in the moment, I like to listen to Bukahara, which is a German band and the music makes you happy, even the, although the texts are quite serious. On the other hand, I like to listen to Kirtan, which is uh, singing mantras, and especially Krishna Das, which is an American Kirtan singer. And since Corona started, he is offering every Thursday night a live session on YouTube. And I really like to join it and sing with him and others who are joining it. And it's quite nourishing. So thank you to Krishna Das, who is offering this every Thursday. There are two pieces of music that come to mind with this question. And the first is, uh, Mache dich mein Herz rein. Uh, so it's like, be pure, more or less. Uh, be pure my heart, sorry, be pure my heart uh, by Bach. It's um, when I was 16, I think, so it's more than 30 years, 32 years ago, I was in the high school for, uh, with the focus on music and we all had to sing in the core. Well, which wasn't, well, I love to sing there, but I, maybe it wasn't so much fun for the others that I sang in there. Well, Anyway, um, but we sang um, Matthias Passion by Bach, and this is a beautiful aria in it. And I would, this comes to mind because for all these years, the 30 years, it's still I wake up and I hear it uh, often, or just during the day it comes to mind. And, it's, and, and it also, for all these lots of years, it still brings tears to my eyes. It's really touching. And there would be another one right now, because also after more than 30 years, I restarted piano again. I've been pausing for 30 years. That, and I play, I started with the Adios No Nino by Astor Piazzolla. Uh, because I started it because I loved it back then when I was 16. It was my only, we had vinyl, vinyl back there and it was precious because it costs a lot, costed a lot of money. And I was playing it like, three hours a day, seven days a week. When I, I grew up, I started uh, with Tango Argentino to dance. And so tango was really special to me and Astor Piazzolo, exceptionally special since I discovered him back then in, in my young years. And um, yeah, it, it really touches my heart and my soul. Oh, that sounds like an 80s song. <laughs> My sentence is from Pema Schödrin. 
And the sentence is, you are the sky. Everything else is the weather. The question that's moving me right now is because of Corona, obviously, uh, is how can I stay connected? How can we stay connected? It is so moving me inside has always been the Hermetic Aphorism by Hermister Magistus. As above, so below. As within, so without. As with the universe, as with the soul. So this question is for me very much connected to the answer I gave before. So uh, the challenge for me is uh, the same, how can I stay connected? Because obviously I love to, to uh, practice Qigong for myself, so I really feel like I can gather lots of energy and um, strength and also get very calm and relaxed and, yeah, and just get a sense of joy of life. But also when I practice, I really love and enjoy to be connected with friends, with my teachers, with, with my students, obviously. And I'm searching and finding ways to, to connect on another level right now. I am facing currently in my practice are can be described as a practicing more to touch the heart first my heart and inside the essence the soul and the unity of everything and also to touch people's heart my students, my um, followers, or uh, the friends of my path. Um, the thing, the attitude I am trying to focus uh, on in my practice actually is beginning anew. Means developing the mind of a beginner and starting every practice like as if I have never done it and to be really empty for to discover it anew every time I do it. If I am nature, what would I be? That was the hardest question, <laughs> I should confess. But um, I, I love the sea so much. And, and I love the movement. I love the, to be inspired by the nature and every part of it. And with nature, I mean not only the nature we see, for example, the nature of knowledge as well. The, the inner process of knowledge to wisdom that is so important to me and to my path and to my practices as well, the philosophy. Um, but also the application to the life. So it can be the octopus, I thought, because the octopus lives in the sea and has eight limbs, which is like the movement in Qigong and Tai Chi from, that starts from Dantian and spreads into inner channels, energy channels, and through our limbs. And the head is the Dantian, like the octopus. And the octopus, the octo, the eight, the eight limbs, also is similar to the Bagua, the Tao generation, the wow, the, uh, the spread of energy, the life, the sound of Tao to eight directions, the eight Tai Chi Chuan principles as well. And also the octopus is very strategic, like Sun Tzu said, and is, has a very high intelligence and also uh, is a soft-bodied <laughs> intervertebrate. And I thought, why not? 
nature? Well, I can only tell what I would like to be. Mm, on the one hand, I would like to be a tree, an old tree, stable, wise. On the other hand, I would like to be the sky, open and empty. So if I would be allowed to choose, I would like to be a human. I like, I love being human. I like to be able to live like that. But if it's uh, only outer nature, or if I could choose for a day or a week or maybe, maybe even a, a year, I would choose to be a bird. I would love to just, you know, fly, <laughs> see the beautiful landscape, escape the trees, the seas, the, the, the lakes, the, the mountains, the, the sun, the, all this just gliding along in the air. I think that must be so exciting, so wonderful. I'd love that. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be. Let it be, oh, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Yeah. <laughs>